Okay, so we've talked about interfaces, right? Now, remember that when we were setting the health and getting the health, the methods were pretty standard for any character uh, object, you know, that implemented the interface character. So there's a way in which we can combine certain things where we say, you know what, some methods are going to be pre-implemented for me because they're going to do the exact same for all classes, but then some others I will force the, the, the coder to implement. I will make you abide by contract. And those are called abstract classes. So here's how you declare an abstract class. You say public abstract class, and then the class, in this case character, which was previously an interface, now making it a, an abstract class. I will have an int health, I will have a get health method that returns the health, and a set me health method with an h that sets the health. So now in this case, the difference between this and an interface is these methods now have code. Okay? And this is a class, not an interface anymore. But however, I have one method that I do not have coded, and I have added this word next to it, public abstract. Abstract. This means the person extending this class, now it's not implementing, but extending because this is a class, the person extending this class will have to implement this method. So if I go to fo, for example, and I do not implement take hit, well, let's go first. Now, fo extends character, right? Fo extends character because character is a proper class. But say, so it has a set health, get health, and this class, if I try to compile this, it's going to tell me I'm not implementing the take hit method, right? So it won't let me get away with this unless I implement the take hit method because it assumes that other classes that use fo are going to be expecting me to have a take hit method. So I'll just implement take hit here, right? And compile this. You see that by, by doing this, you have a, a good mix of both, the best of both worlds. You can, all the code that would be otherwise very repetitive, you can just code. And the code that's extremely unique to each class, you'll just leave abstract, okay? For the classes to implement. And then the game will work exactly as it has worked um, always, right? It'll ask for a number from 1 to 10, depending on what I enter in a random number. Randomly, it will hit either this good guy character or this bad guy character, right? So if I enter a 6, oh, you barely touched me, that's the invincible guy. If I enter a 3, you barely touched me. If I enter a 9, oh boy, that hit the, the, the other guy. If I enter an 8, oh boy, that hit the other guy. And then I can see the bad guy's health is 97 this guy, and then the good guy's health is, uh, oops, 100, okay? So the good guy didn't lose any health, that's interesting. Um, let's see how this happened, oh, okay, this is the friend, it just loses the health divided by 5, it loses very little, that's why, okay. Now, um, in, um, in here we have seen abstract classes, basically a class that it's a proper class, right, that implements some methods, but some others are left mandatorily to be implemented by the subclass. Uh, point of information, if I, there's an abstract class that inherits from another abstract class, it can leave methods without implementation. Whichever class, whichever class that is not abstract that implements an abstract class has the mission to redefine these methods. Usually these classes are used to, um, for example, so that users just set defaults or implement some, some of these methods, right? So um, this would be abstract classes. Now you know interfaces and abstract classes.